I'm Oliver Ford. This is one of my leather jackets. I've been wearing it for a while. I love it, but it's time to revamp it. It's time to distress it. So I'm gonna show you guys all the steps that I take when I distress a leather jacket and how we're gonna come out on the other side, hopefully with an even cooler jacket that's way more badass than this one already is. With me today, I got my buddy Chappie from Chicago. Chappie, say what's up. Yo, what up? He came in here from Chicago, so we're not messing around. He got in last night. Boom, day one. Let's check out how we're gonna distress this jacket, Oliver Ford style. public distressing of this jacket. So watch out, I got a couple things with me today. I got acetone, okay, that's gonna break down the jacket, make it more vulnerable to be distressed, and that's acetone. Can you get it? Power sander. I don't know if we're gonna need this baby. Probably not, because it's not necessarily a precision instrument, but if things get crazy out there, it's always good to have one of these bad girls just in case. <laughs> I know someone's gonna make a comment about me having a long shirt and a short jacket. So just for you guys that don't already know, if it's Alexander Wang, let it hang, okay? Now let's get started. I got the duck fat, the leather fat, that's for later, okay? To start getting the jacket more vulnerable, I'm gonna pour this all over it and start rubbing out kind of the red dye getting it even more distressed than it already is. And I'm gonna be using sandpaper to do that. Then I have imported from Tokyo coin silver, which I'm actually gonna to use to give it kind of a silvery sparkle, more of a 2018 twist, I think. So most people will use things like sand to give it that Mad Max type of look. I'm gonna do something a little weird that's never been done before. We'll see how it goes. But I'm gonna be throwing this silver so hopefully it'll get a little shimmery once we get going and from there without further ado let's get started on the last and most important piece we're dressed let's just dress one of the things you want to focus on to give it more of a realistic look is especially getting your acetone and getting your sandpapers onto the elbows and the shoulders because that's going to give you that realistic kind of badass I just fell off my motorcycle kind of look. We're going to take this to the next level on this one guys. Do not try this at home. Acetone. It's cool to have uneven distributions because it looks more natural, so don't worry too much about, hey, is it right here, is it right there? Just try to make it natural feeling. And then we're gonna try something really sketchy. I do not recommend you guys try this one at home. And you wanna just get this thing lit right here and you want to get it all in the acetone. And there it is. Oh my God. <laughs> Jump on it, hit it in the grass. Oh my God. <laughs> because I'm saving the thing. Yeah, we got it. We're just What's making... We did not mean for this you to happen. You didn't do it on purpose. Yeah. Oh, no. So I need you guys this to went, grab the jacket. Uh, yeah. yeah. You guys are not... Sorry, guys. Yeah, sorry about that. It was... To be fair, it was his idea. Okay. Could you imagine what would have happened if you guys wouldn't have been able to take this off at the last yeah. minute? 
and it got stuck on you. I can't. With a zipper on. I don't want to talk about. Okay, good. So that 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 makes two. Yeah. Well, right? <laughs> so we got federal officers here. Oh. They caught it on camera. Oh, oh fuck. We didn't. <laughs> All right, guys, we just got kicked out of a federal park for setting this baby on fire. Chappie, take some blame so I don't have to have all the blame on me. I did it. It was him. But we got some nice marks right where I wanted them, actually. This is exactly how I wanted the burn marks to go, kind of on the shoulder, a little bit on the back. And we're going to keep going from here. But this is just a nice entry point for me to continue to kind of put in some of the new silvers I have and try to do some cool stuff. And you guys, if you didn't know already, distressing jackets is not for the faint of heart. So if you can't handle this shit, go home, all right? We're distressing jackets here. This is Oliver Ford. Yeah, just grab us on the roof when you want to go. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. We're going to use this to kind of give it kind of a cool, shimmery effect more of a 2018 vibe, if you know what I mean. So you do not want to take things easy on this. I'm going to keep on bashing away at this. And then when I'm done, and I feel like I've really gotten kind of the coloring I need and the distribution I need on this jacket, then I'm going to go ahead and get my leather fat and I'm going to kind of reinvigorate the edges and make it a nice soft finish smooth leather finish like you're used to once i've already done enough distressing i'm almost done couple more steps see some of the silver that made it onto the jacket from the coin dust if you look through it gives it a nice kind of shimmer throughout but not too much little 2018 moment not too crazy though I'm not all about the crazy shine but a little bit can be pretty cool especially now so real quick pro tip here another thing you can do is set your oven to one of the lower settings I usually put it around two we're gonna go 225 here today and we're going to put the old jacket in the oven. We're really going for that post-apocalyptic type look today. And I think this is going to help. Pa! Bon appetit! Nice and warm. Starting to get a nice finish on here. Starting to settle in beautifully. So now we got one more step, paint. All right, we're done with last night. It's the next day and I have finished the bomber so I'm gonna give it to my friend Matt Colley because he's been a good friend and he's done a lot for me. I like to give them away sometimes to people that matter, uh, people that have influenced my life, usually in an artistic way, so. I'm gonna give him this. Finished product. Here we go.
Thank you.